this video we're going to show you how to do your room layout, how to, how to draw the walls for your room. So that would be the step that you would hit after you hit continue on from the measurement page. So the room layout, basically you start with a blank, blank sheet. You would basically click to start, move your mouse, click again to create that corner, again move your mouse. And you'll notice that there at the end of the line here we have a uh, almost like a T that's telling us that that angle is a right angle. So if we start to turn this sideways, you see how those tops change and just it's just become a straight line, which tells you that you don't have a right angle. So if you want a right angle, you want to make sure you have that T. <clears throat> so you just move this around. You're more concerned about getting the walls on the screen, not so much their measurements because the measurements are done later. If you make a mistake, let's say I came down here and that was not correct, you can just move your mouse up off the screen to the undo button and you can say undo and that will basically undo the dots or the corners one at a time. So you can go back to where you feel you want to, you made your mistake. You can continue. When you do come across and you're at the same height as the initial wall, you get that and then I can come here and make a simple design like that. When you're all done, Again, we have the five walls on the closet. You can either hit the escape key or you can just go over here to the finish drawing button and you click on that. When you do use this tool, you should go count, you should go in a clockwise fashion. So start in the bottom left and work your way around. The lines, these lines should always be on the outside of the wall. So if you see them, if they don't look like they're in the right spot, you should really reset your layout. So if you reset your layout, it's going to clean that, clear that screen and take you right back to the beginning. So I'm just going to go ahead and do another quick drawing. Okay, so there's my standard walk-in closet. So here we have our measurements now. So these are the measurements that you do want to change then. So if we want to go ahead and put in the proper measurements for this particular closet. You can just go ahead and enter them in. These are the angles of each wall. Um, after I enter in any any number changes here, I do want to click update measurements. And when you do that, you'll see that the the numbers then change and match what you've put in there. This little plus or minus signs up here will change the um, zoom factor. So if you are a little too close to the wall, then you're going to want to kind of hit minus to get this inside. You'd like it to be pretty clear from the edges so that it'll look better on the next page. And then when you're all done with this, you go ahead and hit continue to go on to the next step.